hindi nagbago ang interest rate ng Bank of Canada Miyerkules na inasahan na raw ng maraming economists. Pero ano nga bang ibig sabihin nito sa mga mamimili? May report si Teresa Redula. We held our policy rate steady today because monetary policy is working to cool the economy and relieve price pressures. And we wanted to give it time to do its job. Hindi binago ng Bank of Canada ang kanilang overnight rate na 5%. Patuloy mang lumalamlam ang inflation. Posible pa rin daw taasan ang rates. Further easing in inflation is likely to be slow and inflationary risks have increased. If inflationary pr pressures persist, we are prepared to raise our policy rate further to restore price stability. I'm not surprised at all that the Bank of Canada held uh, interest rates at 5%. Inaasahan ng maraming economists ang anunsyong ito mula sa Bank of Canada. Pero ano nga ba ang epekto nito sa mga mamimili sa bansa? That will have an impact on uh, consumers, uh, particularly those who uh, are, are on a mortgage, those who are on a variable rate. Another is that those uh, consumers who are thinking of buying durable goods like those uh, big uh, uh, purchases, uh, for example, furniture or even auto loans, uh, that will have an impact on them as well. So, which means that higher, uh, higher monthly payments uh, for for those uh, uh, for those products. Ayun sa Banko Central, posibleng bumalik sa two percent ang inflation rate sa taong 2025. Pero kung mas mabagal pa ang ekonomiya, mas magiging alanganin ang pag-ilag sa recession. Our near-term inflation forecast is a little higher. Our near-term uh, output forecast is a bit lower. That path is getting narrower. Dagdag ng banko, hindi raw inflationary ang kasalukuyang public spending. So if you look at government spending over the last year, uh, it was it was below 2%. So it doesn't look like it's been adding undue inflationary pressures uh, over the last year or so. Pero di ini maklem. Inaasahang tataas ng 2.5% ang demand sa federal, provincial at municipal spending sa susunod na taon na posibleng makadagdag sa inflation. He's now clearly saying that government spending is driving up inflation. So very simple question. Does the Prime Minister agree with the bank governor that deficits are driving inflation? Yeah. Yes or no? Yeah. Except, Mr. Speaker, that inflation is steadily coming down, Mr. Speaker. Sa survey na inilabas ng Angus Reid Institute kamakailan, nasa 49% din ng mga Canadians ang nagsabing nasa mas malalang financial situation sila ngayon kumpara noong nakaraang taon. 35% ang nagsabing lalala pa itong lalo sa susunod na taon. Yung mga gusto bumili ng sofa, ipagpaliban muna ipagbili ng mga sectionals, yung pagbili ng mga uh, iba't ibang mga products no na kailangan na umutang no or yung mga may gives sinasabi natin so we may want, we may want to hold that for now kasi uh, and, and another thing too is uh, we uh, hindi natin talaga makikita pa na bababa yung interest rate kasi nga mataas pa rin yung uh, mataas pa rin sa targeting inflation Teresa Redula Omni News Toronto